Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this video, we are going to learn about DevOps. So, with this video, we will try to understand about what is meant by DevOps, why to use DevOps, what is the background of DevOps, and how to use DevOps. These are all things we are going to cover with this video. Before starting to the DevOps, let me give you some background how we have started working on the DevOps platform. So in the initial days when we were trying to you know, create any project, we were using the waterfall model. And here you can see these are the different different phases of the waterfall model. So the first phase is requirement gathering. So we are getting the one requirement from the client and he is saying that hey we want to create this kind of project. So first phase is where we will take the requirement from the client and once the requirement is clear we will start designing of the project and then we will move to the next phase which is the development testing and last deployment so here in this case the main problem with the waterfall model is if your project is of one year you are directly delivering your project after the one year so this is the deployment phase and after the deployment phase your client will come to know about this project so in this one year you are directly as I said earlier that we are directly dealing with the client after the one year so there is a chances that your requirement can be changed right so after one year you if your requirement get changed definitely you can you need to come back and you need to see all the code and you need to make all the changes let's take one example that previously your client is asking you to create the web, web application and after one year he is saying that hey this web application is not of use or he is saying that I don't want this web application I want now Android app so in that case what you will do all the one year which we you know spend on this project will get wasted again the client who has already spent a lot of money that is also get wasted so this waterfall model is having a lot of problems so because of that only we, we moved from waterfall model to the agile methodology now agile methodology will follow the iterative and incremental model now you'll say me what is the difference between this iterative and incremental model and what is the difference between waterfall model and the agile methodology see here in the waterfall model whenever we are going to you know produce any product we will deliver it after the deployment okay so let's say your client is coming and he is asking you to create 11 features or you can say like 10 features he asks you. So in the waterfall model, you will take the requirement gathering, you will do designing, development, testing and at last after one year, you will give him all your 10 features. Okay. Now if in case he is saying that he is not satisfied with the product which we have delivered, now we need to come back and we need to make all the changes to the code which is not possible. So what you can do, you can divide this 10 feature into 10 sprint. You can do like this. Okay. 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay. So I'm just taking one example. Let's say you have a 10 features in one project and you are dividing that 10 features into 10 small sprint. Okay. Sprint 1, sprint 2 and like that sprint 10. So the sprint 1 which is like uh, your login page. Okay just like your login page where you need to enter your user id and the password and after that the user will be get login to the page and it will go to the dashboard something like that we have we got a requirement so we we will deliver this in the sprint one okay and we will tell to the client hey we have created this login page and this is how it is working so once you discuss with the client if he is happy he will ask you to work on the second sprint which is the second functionality of that project so what is happening here here we are using with the iterative iterative means we are taking the requirement designing development testing de deployment but this is for only for sprint one again when we get the requirement for second feature again we will go with the same phase only maybe after the login he will ask you for the list of customer or something like that so it is a iterative and second one is a incremental what is meant by incremental after every sprint you will go with the second sprint and then it will go with the third sprint so with every sprint you are delivering 
a new new functionality to the client and every time you are taking the feedback from your client so there is a less chances saying that your product will not be you know useful or your client will be more happy with the product which you are delivering to him because we are al always taking the feedback from him so because of that only agile methodology plays a really really important role in the development environment now we will talk about the devops see in the agile methodology as i said we have a 10 sprint because we have a 10 functionality every functionality every after the functionality we need to deploy that code starting from your dev environment then it will go to your seat environment pat environment and then it will go to the prod environment so every time whenever you are delivering this print one you need to follow this print two you need to follow this so this is how your code will be delivered and it will go to the production environment now in most of the cases what we have observed that if my machine if my code is working on my machine the same code will not be working on another machine this is a problem with the and now because of that only what will happen there will be always conflict in between a development team because we are the developer and there will be an operational team which will help you to deploy the code okay so initial days we used to you know create the jar and then we used to configure the dependency and then we used to deploy the code which is not possible and there is a chances that sometimes you will miss the jar and sometimes there is a no configuration in such way that your dependency will not be get resolved and because of that only your production your uh, code will get hampered to resolve this issue what they have done they have combined this development and operational team we called it as a devops which is called as a devops it is a combination of development team and the operational team to overcome that deployment problem the code which is working on my machine but it is not working on other machine so in order to automate the deployment process we are going to use the jenkins tool which is a open source tool again we call it as a cicd tool okay so we are going to create the pipeline inside the jenkins tool now what is this pipeline okay let's try to understand so in the Jenkins, we are going to integrate a multiple tools, something like configuration of git command. So you know, uh, when we have a multiple developers who are working on the same project, we need to use a versioning tool just like git is there. Whenever you want to build the code or you, whenever you want to compile the code, you can use the Marvin is there. And then whenever you want to do any kind of the testing, you can use the JUnit and some other tools also. So you can create this one pipeline and you can configure it into the Jenkins. So this is called the DevOps environment. Now, you know, if you just take one as a pipeline, what is happening here? Let me try to take one more thing. See here, initially, as I said, that every time we need to deploy the code in different, different environment in our, uh, in our uh, agile methodology, right? So, in order to automate the deployment process, let's say you have completed your sprint one and you are ready to go for the production environment, you can use the DevOps functionality. So, in the DevOps, we have a very important tool, we call it as a Jenkins. So, Jenkins is an open source tool. By using the Jenkins, you can create your pipeline which will automatically deploy the code into the production environment. So, here you can see how we can create the pipeline. So first of all, we are going to use a Git, which is again a versioning tool. Let's say we have a multiple developers working on same project. So definitely we need to, you know, think about the different, different versions, right? So second thing is about the Marvin, which is again a build tool. And the third thing is J unit plus other, which will be helpful for the testing. So once this job get completed, automatically the deployment will be taken and it will go into the production environment so some of the project you will uh, you'll get like once the projects you know once the uh, code get committed definitely the deployment should be done automatically or there will be some project which will be you know 
deploy the code automatically into the production environment after a certain day. So you can configure your jobs as per requirement, as per your requirement. So this is all possible with the help of DevOps. So the things which we were, you know, missing in the agile process, you know, all those things are coming inside the DevOps. So this is all about the DevOps. I hope you like this video. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel.